Mariah Nagasu on the ice getting ready for her short program. It's been a tough season for last year's surprise champion. She grew a few inches, suffered an ankle injury, and now she and her coaches are struggling to get back to the top. You know what I think it is? That you're starting to lift. You're really getting back your height. Yes, sweetie, don't, don't say no. Yes, you are, okay? I see it, okay? And if I see a difference, I'm gonna tell you, all right? And I feel that when you start to come down, you, you're, you're kind of just doubting yourself. There's no doubt in my mind that you can do this, okay? Let's do it and get it over with. Now. Last year, everything was a lot easier for me because I had that young person steam engine going on where I just steamed ahead and everything was okay. But this year, it's been harder for me because, like, my muscles don't keep up with me. I went from 4.11 to 5.3 now. <laughs> ah. And last summer, I had a stress factor, so I've laid off on my flips and lutzes lately, so it's been on and off since then, so it's been really hard, but hopefully I'll get it together. <laughs> When you start to bend the knee, you're starting to drop, and everything's pulling this way. So it's harder to get motivated, even though I do want to be the best. Why don't you do the triple loop for me again? Wow, good girl. She won very quickly. And then she grew. She just got to get back into knowing her body. Today, working with her, I finally saw a little bit of her really feeling good about her body and how it's working. But uh, this year, is, it's gonna be hard. I've gone through the teenage adolescence years and I've been grouchy sometimes. Since I started high school, I actually decreased training because of the increase of homework that I've had. So. That was my biggest mistake. It's been a year adjusting to her new body and the new demands of her schedule now that she's in high school. The focus really continues to be on learning and growing from this year versus trying to defend her title. I've made this peak last year and I did go down a little bit, so hopefully once I go down, it's like a roller coaster and I'll go back up. From the Pasadena Figure Skating Club, Pasadena, California, Marai Nagasu. And now as Marai takes the ice, all those difficulties of the past year could be erased here in Cleveland. Starting with this short program, selections by Charlie Chaplin. Getting to the top of the podium at the Senior Ladies Championship at the Nationals is a joy. Getting there the second time, so much more difficult. I love her quote. She said, it's a lot easier to be 14 with no thoughts. Now <laughs> she's the ripe old age of 15, opening with her triple combination. Lots of speed into this. Oh, oh a little Midori Ito ran out of real estate there. That's difficult when you skate with that kind of speed. Now she's thinking she could turn this into her combination, a triple flip. Oh, again, close to the boards. Smart. Nice. This part of her growth spurt was growing out of the arena. It's getting with a lot more speed, and when you're taller like that, you cover a lot more ice. Double axle. Hangs on.
great song for her. Her choreographer, Lori Nichol, always chooses the right piece of music. Beautiful laid back position here. Look at the speed, the centering, flexibility, balance. What's great about Mariah is last year she came onto the scene like a breath of fresh air. And this year, even with all her struggles, she's still performing with that lightness. Probably one of the more difficult skates she's ever had to deliver, and I thought bumpy right off the top, but generally I think she's showing great advancement, great improvement. Not nearly the quality of the performance last year where she scored 70 points in the short program, but we'll see what the judges say, what the points that she was able to accumulate. A crash into the boards for defending champion Mariah Nagasu. Triplets again coming dangerously close to the boards. Decent height there, not bad. A little short maybe on the landing, but right there ran right out of real estate. You know, this is an NHL size rink. You think of Olympic size, it's a little bit bigger. And I grant great, great. Triple flip, oh, yeah. You know, but again, here, close to the boards. Close to the boards, she was able to turn that well. But Smart still. enough to put the double toe at the end of it. Absolutely. Nice shot of the air position here on the double axle. She'll go up forward, two and a half revolutions, one, two and a half. Mm. Coming down perilously close. So, you know, you need to be quarter turn or less from backwards in order to get full, full credit for these jumps. And she looks like she's a little bit close, to maybe not getting to that quarter turn. Once quarter again, revolution. the judges are going to look at replays of all those jumps and, and review them so that they get them exactly right. And there's no wiggle room. No, there's it, no wiggle room at all. It's a learning lesson. And you have to remember that she's only 15. She has a great future. I love the speed that she covers the ice with. And on the technical side, she was downgraded for that double axle. It was short of rotation. It's a lot. You know, she only got a third of a point for that, that element. And the total of 54.79.